you're always going to have problems lifting a body in one piece. Apparently, the best thing to do is to chop the corpse up into six pieces and pile it all together. Then you've got to get rid of your six pieces, see? Because it's no use leaving it in the deep freeze for your mum to discover, now is it? Then what I hear the best thing to do is to feed them to pigs. You've got to starve the pigs for a few days, then the sight of a chopped up body will look like curry to a piss head. You've got to shave the heads of your victims and pull the teeth for the sake of the piggy's digestion. You could do this afterwards, of course, but you don't want to go sieving through pig shit now, do you? They will go through bone like butter. You need 16 pigs to finish the job in one sitting, so always be wary of a man who keeps a pig farm. They will go through a body that weighs 200 pounds in about eight minutes, which means that each pig can consume two pounds of uncooked flesh every minute. Hence the expression, as greedy as a pig. Guilt. It's like a bag of bricks. You just have to set it down. Who are you holding those bricks for anyway? God? Is that it? God? Let me give you a little inside information on God. He's a jokester. A prankster. He gives man instinct. He gives you this great set of tools, and then what does he do for his own amusement, for his own private cosmic gag reel? He sets the rules in opposition. Look, but don't touch. Touch? But don't taste. Taste! Don't swallow. And while you're down here jumping from foot to foot to foot, he's up there laughing his sick fucking ass off. He's a tight ass. He's a sadist. He's an absentee landlord. Worship that? Never. Life is like a box of chocolates. A cheap, thoughtless, perfunctory gift no one ever asks for. Unreturnable because all you get back is another box of chocolates. So you're stuck with this whipped mint crap that you mindlessly wolf down when there's nothing left to eat. Oh sure, every so often there's an English toffee or a peanut butter cup. But they're gone too fast and the taste is fleeting. Then you're left with broken bits of hardened gels and teeth-shattering nuts, and when those are gone, all you've got is an empty box filled with brown paper wrappers. I have another bad match. A bankrupt. A prodigal who dares scarce show his head upon the Rialto. A beggar who was wont to come so smug upon the mart. Let him look to his bond. He was wont to call me usurer. Let him look to his bond. He was wont to lend money for a Christian courtesy. And if he shall forfeit, I will take his flesh. What good will that do? To bait fish withal. If it will feed nothing else, it will feed my revenge. He hath disgraced me and hindered me half a million laughed at my losses, mocked at my gains, scorned my nation, thwarted my bargains, cooled my friends, heated mine enemies, and what is his reason? I am a Jew. Hath not a Jew eyes? Hath not a Jew hands? Organs? Dimensions? Senses, affections, passions, fed with the same food, hurt with the same weapons, subject to the same diseases, healed by the same means, warmed and cooled by the same summer and winter as a Christian is. If you prick us, do we not bleed? If you tickle us, do we not laugh? If you poison us, do we not die? And if you wrong us, shall we not revenge? 
The villainy you teach me I will execute, and it shall go hard. But I will better the instruction.